Okay, I apologize for this update ahead of time. Oh, oh boy. Uh, But uh, Blanche, uh, Todd Blanche, the Trump attorney, (laughs) is specifically reading a post that Michael Cohen made on Twitter on April 22nd in in which he refers to Donald Trump as Von Schitt's in pants. Well, damn, it was a brutal week in court for Donald Trump and out of court for Donald Trump. His truth social accounting firm just got indicted because, oh no, really? Somebody attached to Donald Trump is a con artist or liar and commits acts of thievery? Well, that would just be shocking. Uh, in addition to that, Trump had to suffer through ooh, numerous other hits. Let's see what, what happened to Mr. Trump this week. Well. Jeff Duncan, the lieutenant governor of Georgia, and I give him a lot of credit, rock rib Republican, right winger, guy who I disagree with on probably everything. Um, he was a lieutenant governor, governor under Brian Kemp, and Donald Trump tried to get him to change votes in 2020, and he actually believed in this weird thing, the Constitution. Um, he rejected Trump, wrote an op-ed in the Atlanta Journal Constitution, and said he may disagree with Joe Biden on issues, but he'll vote for decency over the criminal defendant any day of the week, and he encouraged his fellow Republicans to do it, and this is important, because he appealed to a lot of center-right Republicans in the suburbs, and Georgia is a key swing state. So uh, thank you to Jeff Duncan for doing that. That sent Donald Trump off the rails, as usual, whenever he had a moment between his various court cases, um, reject, you know, responding and attacking. Here is uh, Jeff Duncan in his own words. Well, we've been faking this long enough as Republicans. Donald Trump's not a Republican. He doesn't represent our brand. He doesn't represent our future. Uh, he's a horrible human being at this point. Uh, we're watching that play out hour by hour in the courtroom. Uh, and, and we've been jamming this square peg through a round hole long enough. And it's time to turn the page. It's time to move on. If we're going to heal as a party and truly get back to doing the things that we should do, and that's be conservative, but not angry or crazy, or liars, uh, we should we should turn the page immediately from Donald Trump. And so that's really what I'm calling for. And then there's Michael Fanone reminding us of uh, you know, one of the officers from January 6th, reminding us of exactly what happened. Fanone should be out there speaking as much as possible. I have a feeling he'll speak at the Democratic Convention and he should just keep explaining what Donald Trump created that day when they tried to overthrow our government. And he ripped the shit out of Trump. And uh, can't even imagine if I'd been in his position, I'd do the same. Let's hear what Fanon has to say first. Donald Trump is sick. He's a sick individual. Um, and the idea that he would align himself with um, criminals uh, who attacked and assaulted law enforcement officers who were only there doing their job is sick. And anybody that would support that is equally demented. And finally, uh, the porn star hush money case, because yes, that's what you want in your president. You want the, the morality of a man who would break the law paying off a porn star not to share that she'd had a tryst with him. She has mocked Trump in every way possible, referred to his penis as looking like a mushroom. <laughs> Um, looking like the dude from Mario. Oh, come on, I can't. Toad, that's it. It looks like Toad. <laughs> it's outstanding. Um, and she went even further, let's see. <laughs> she said, which got Trump to lose his mind on Truth Social and then erase all of it when his lawyer said to him, you dumb f- you're going to get yourself convicted, which is probably going to happen. Anyhow, it looks like. Um, in her testimony, let's see, what did she say? Daniels testified that she, quote, spanked Trump with a magazine during their alleged 2006 encounter after getting angry at him, and that he liked it. And he liked it because it was a magazine with his own face on it. In which the adult film actor and director claimed her affair with Trump included an unusual act, spanking him with a copy of Forbes magazine (laughs) with, wait for it, Trump on the cover. (laughs) Donald Trump likes being spanked by a porn star while his wife is at home with their months old son using a magazine with his face on it. Thank you, sir. May I have another? This was after he told her, according to her testimony, under oath, that she reminded him of his daughter, a porn star he was having sex with behind his wife's back who'd just given birth to his child, reminded him of his daughter. He's, he's something else. And then, of course, allegedly, he paid her off, which is what we're hearing all about in court. So he raged about that because, I guess, his little toad, you know, uh, 
can't take uh, all the heat right now. He's a little embarrassed. Do not touch that mushroom, you'll die! Um, and, uh, well, you know, she, <laughs> she exposed that he, no pun intended, likes a good spanking here and there from an Ivanka-looking type character. That should go great for Donald Trump with swing voters. Let's see, you know, the more that comes out. You evangelicals, you hang in there. Clearly this is what you talked about when you uh, criticized Bill Clinton and talked about the Book of Virtues by that fat loser Bill Bennett and lectured us all on how we should be married to one person and stay within marriage and not have sex until marriage and never be gay and all the other things you guys say. Trump clearly, you know, five kids, three wives, cheats on them with a porn star, Playboy Bunny, other people, and yeah, an adjudicated rapist. Well done, guys. You picked a great candidate. And yeah, it was a pretty sh week for, uh, for Donnie Boy, and that puts a smile on my face.